Comes out to play the puck, chips it in behind. David Moravets just four months ago competed for gold. Early on in this game, Moravec just trying to wheel the net, and he's just going to get knocked right into. Dume, high shot, the MVP of the league back in the lineup for this game. Last saw him in game two against Sherbrooke. Cross ice looking for the feed shot by Josh Lawrence. We've touched. Brady Schultz down low for Lawrence. They work it outside. Dume calls for it. Schultz holds on. Lawrence now takes a look, delays, gets it on it. The patience of Josh Lawrence is what's going to make this goal happen. And Alex Doucette goes right to the back door. Doucette's going to play. Lawrence is going to play a little catch at the top with Schultz. And then watch him wait, wait, waiting for a stick to move out of the way. Finally, Evan Noss moves that stick. And he's able to thread it right across to Doucette. Komarov's not able to tie up his stick. You can see the whole... Look, trying for the centering pass to Gaucher. It'll fal falter. Down into the Moosehead zone, Rousseau comes out to play it. A huge collision along Jake Furlong. Right here, right here. Far side pass with speed, David Moravets. Mooseheads with numbers, Tose rebound chance. Menzi, the Halifax Mooseheads overseeing the penalty kill this season. Chipped aside, Rousseau calls for it. Rousseau, high shot, save made by Rousseau. Saying it all the way down, picked up by Evan Knox. Drafted by the Panthers, McKinnon now, shooting it ahead all alone, Josh Lawrence in, backhand, shorthand, and what a chance, the puck trickles in behind Rousseau. Memorial Cup champion. Halifax has been really sharp early on, five on four, five on five, and this is a great opportunity for Lawrence, and as Evan Noss is going to try and swat this away, does a good job to make sure that he doesn't swat it. Big get for this Quebec Rampart team. Malatesta drops it in behind, Justin Robita, a look, save a made, it would be Furlong, and they score! Anything is possible when you drive the net. The Quebec Ramparts have tied this game. Justin Robita had all kinds of time and space to walk in and shoot this puck, and he was looking past the whole time. He finally, finally realized he better shoot this puck, and he does, and he's going to follow up on the rebound. He's looking past the whole way, but Russo can't find it. It just drops, and good on Robita to follow it up, put it in on the backhand. As you see Jake Furlong, he's really shading away to... It's 34 games, 33 points in the Quebec Rampart since being traded over Schultz. Again, looking for room, a long shift for the defender as Duke chips it in, they score! Pierre-Olivier Wall off the shot on the point by Bold Duke. The Peck Ramparts will take the lead. Well, this is how quickly this Quebec Ramparts team can make you pay. This is going to come off a turnover in the Halifax zone, and then it's this first line for Quebec. Bull Dukes just going to shovel this right to the net and good awareness by Pierre Olivier Waugh to just get a stick on it, direct it to an area. It's going to go right between the legs of Matisse Rousseau. Give Quebec a two. Down the near side boards, William Rousseau comes out to play the puck. Back to the point. Catafort shot. He scores. Matthew He could step in right away and play. He's just in his second year with the Halifax Mooseheads, and he has now tied this game up late in the first. No stranger to big goals either. He opened the scoring in the top prospects game earlier on in the season, and this is just going to come off a one battle on the wall. He finds a way to win this battle, takes the puck right off the wall, and it's not a pretty shot, but it's an effective shot. It's a little bit of a knuckler. That... Oh, check. Back to the point of Osawa. Bring it right back down low for Tio Rochette. Backhand shot. Matisse. You always expect the first line to go back onto the ice. And if you're Patrick Waugh in the Quebec Ramparts, you're going to lean on this. So we'll make the stop. Tilly Obiaska setting up shot, trying to see if you can find McPhee on the doorstep. Reed McPhee outside shot. Dume delays. He scores. Welcome back, Jordan Dume. Well, 
is your league MVP with a big goal to put Halifax up 3-2 early on in the second period. And it's just going to come off some ozone play. McPhee makes a nice pass right through the box onto the stick of Dume. But Dume does a nice job. Good poise, and he outweights Russo. Finds a way to get him to open up. He could have easily jammed that into a pad or tried to go upstairs. But he makes a nice move to open the legs of Russo. Skill. It was one on two. Rims around to the far side. Picked up in time by Dume. Down low. Guru to the point. Doucette, what a shot. An even better save. And going uncovered as well. Trushan tries to dive out and block this puck from going to Doucette. But Russo does a really nice job. Robert oh. trying to outwork just take Furlong down low. Jeremy Langlois, Quebec, Malatesta shot, rebound in front. Jumps in the zone. A long shift now for these Halifax Mooseheads. Quebec Ramparts are going to take advantage, and they will. The Quebec Ramparts have tied this up. A bobbled puck from the point, and it goes in. James Malatesta will get credited. It is a 3-3 hockey game. The Columbus Blue Jackets fifth rounder in 2021 is going to score his 11th goal of the playoffs. Time Justin Robidoff for the team lead. He's been outstanding throughout these playoffs and he's the guy you want with the puck on his stick. Robidoff is going to do a really nice job of supporting this puck. Komarov goes down for a pinch. And Malatesta is going to find a way to get his stick on this floating shot from the point high in the zone. It throws Took an awkward hit actually against Brady McPhee. Along the boards in game at number one. Great to see him back out healthy. In game three, another outside shot by Alex Doucette. Josh Lawrence rounding things out. Jake Frong, Brady Schultz on the back end for the Halifax Mooseheads. Just one more period to go here in game number three. First back at it again tomorrow night in Halifax. Josh Lawrence all alone. Lawrence backhand shot. He scores. The Halifax Mooseheads pull ahead. It's Josh Lawrence who gets the goal. Fifteen seconds into the third period, Josh Lawrence is going to break in all alone. And what a move as he fakes out Rousseau on the forehand and goes to the backhand. But this is a 200-foot goal. Starts behind the net. Schultz is going to rim it around the boards. And then it's Jordan Dume who sends a nice pass to Deuce, Deuce set. And Josh Lawrence is going to do the rest. Everyone getting in on that goal. Starts behind the net. 18 years old. Pushed off, the Mooseheads keep the play alive. Yaska chips it back for McKinnon. We're going to step into it. Collision on the, the thrill. Here's McKinnon pinching up into the offensive zone. Good hit, and this is going to prolong some offensive zone play for the Rebound chance in front, just high. And empty net, Zach Balduk looking to tie this up. Komarov. Argosino, another shot, he scores. The Ramparts have tied it up here in the third at four apiece. Zachary Bolduc had an opportunity in front of the net and you don't see him miss these chances very often. But then it's gonna be Cooper that plants himself right in front of the goaltender, right in front of Rousseau, and he can't see anything around it. Nice job by Agostino getting into the high ice, recognizing he has a good screen, a good net front presence. Feeds it back to the corner. Rochette to Langlois. Bolduc fakes. Hugh Rochette now with a lane. One time shot by Zachary Bolduc. Whether it's a one timer opportunity or not. And here Rochette does a nice job of selling everyone on the fact that he might shoot that puck. Looks at the net the whole time. One now, three on one unfolding for the Moose Heads. Dume a wide looking net front. Fans looking for a call on the tripping play as now the Ramparts head back the other way. Wah, tap pack, pass. Agostino, another shot. The urgency to go back to their net. Break up as many. Who's had goaltenders over the years for this franchise? Off the crossbar. That are like Jill history that have been between the pipes for the Moose Heads over the years. Smart face off here by the Quebec Ramparts. This is a set play where Malatesta is looking to get it to. No. Excellent chance for the Moose Heads early in this overtime. Five minutes almost come and gone here. Malatesta the other way. Long shot. Puck pops up high. Russo trying to find it. They score. The Quebec Ramparts find success in overtime. It's James Malatesta for his second of the game.
Two goals and an assist now for James Malatesta in this game, but none other. The biggest goal yet for him in this playoff series. The game winner in overtime in Halifax. 12th goal of the playoffs for James Malatesta. And this starts in the Quebec zone. A little bit of a leaky puck that ends up going to the corner and Malatesta breaks in, just fires a really innocent shot on net. Russo battles it off, but he's not able to control his rebound. And Malatesta follows it up, just takes a swipe at it and ends up putting it in the back of the net. His playoff dominance continues and the Columbus Blue Jackets prospect finds a way to get the Quebec Ramparts the win in game three. 